TV Fan Nation, I'm still enjoying the delicacies that Kanoha Valley has to offer, and which is why I happen to be here at Tarantula Hill Brewing Company, sitting next to one of the owners, John Edney. John, everything looks insanely delicious. Thank you. How are you today? Thank you I'm for great. having us. Thank you for coming. So, right in this background is a huge brewing establishment. How did this all come together? I think maybe in the last five years or so, they've been sort of coming with a putting together a new city plan. Uh -huh. This town is unique in that they haven't done a city plan in, since 1971. Oh, <laughs> so, it's been a while. Yeah. Hot minute. So that's that's part of the reason why. So um, this town has never allowed anybody to have a, uh, a permit to manufacture alcohol mm -hmm. um, of any sort. So now they, they decided, you know, uh, lots of people obviously enjoy coming to breweries and um, they opened up the first permit to do a brewery in this town. Um, the guy that owns this building, he's owned this building forever. It used to be a furniture store. He thought, what a great, what a great spot, right on the boulevard, right in the center of town to do a brewery. Um, he approached one of our partners um, who owns Bottle and Pint mm -hmm. in Newbury Park. And there's also one in Oxnard, also something fun for people to do when they come to Canal Valley. Nice. Um, it's a bottle shop. So he approached him since he obviously knows a lot about beer and said, you're interested in opening a brewery. Um, and that happens to be one of the sounds from the brewery. That's right. right. Yes. That's. The, I just uh, love how immersed <laughs> I am right now because I've never seen a brewery this close. Yeah. So you guys set Tarantula Hill Brewing Company a few years ago, right? Yes. It's pretty new. I think it's, it's two new. years. We started building three years ago and then took us about a year and then opened our doors uh, July 4th. Um, two years back, mm -hmm. um, got rolling pretty good, and then COVID hit. Oh, COVID hit. Yep. Which is which is tough. Change of plans. Uh, yeah, we picked a good time to open a, a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the beauty of having a brew pub is that we have you know we have the restaurant, but we also have the brewery. So um, we sort of pivoted our business model, and we started canning the beer, and getting the beer out. Obviously. Since nobody was able to go out, people were buying more beer at the liquor stores and at the supermarkets, stuff like that. So we started getting our beer out there in cans, which was not our our business model before. We were not we were just basically just a tap room. And I love the fact that everything here seems to be handcrafted. You got your little ales in here. You have handcrafted ice cream, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm so sick of the mainstream brands. I want some love and soul poured into <laughs> that ice cream. And you have exclusive recipes from what I can tell. Absolutely, yes. Where do they come from? They come from uh, from Hawaii, from my dad. Owned a ice cream factory in Hawaii for 20 years. And nice. I learned the, the trade from him. and brought it thousand ups. And then finally, John, I'm looking at amazing dishes here, which I imagine are your signature plates. What are we looking at? We have pretzels. Yep. Pizza, barbecue pizza. Yep. Fresh oysters, quesadillas, yes. which are a staple in my menu. <laughs> and a little bit of salad, because we need our greens, right? But let's let's make it fun. Let's add some bacon, right? This is a <laughs> cob salad. <laughs> yes. Nice. I want to try this. So this is just plain cheese sauce. What is this? That's cheese and the other one's mustard. Ooh, cheese yep. and mustard. Yep. Okay, let me give it a go. And that's beer mm. cheese. So we put some beer in there mm. to tie it all together for you. It's crunchy, but it's also fluffy inside. I love that hybrid. Nice. And we have natural homemade Arnold Palmer, <laughs> which is such a delicacy in California and in the States. And this is actually an original recipe from back in the day when you would make lemonades, correct? Correct. <laughs> one, of my, one of my first jobs. Finally, John, where can we find you on social media? Because I want people to come here and feel the love that you pour <laughs> into your products. Our Instagram is Trancha Hill Brewing Co. Um, as well as Facebook. Um, our website is tranchillhillbrewingco.com. You got a brewery, handcrafted ice cream, amazing dishes. What's more to ask? You awesome. So I need to check all of these dishes. I want to try each and every single one of them, but I'll see you in a few seconds. We are the new kings winning this fight tonight with our name lit up. This is our Crowler can. This is your baby, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
or locals by locals. This is if you want to get some beer to go. So we can fill it up 32 ounces. We have a machine over there that puts a lid on it. You take it home. Nice. And I love this can. Drink within 48 hours. Yes. So it has a very short shelf life, which means it's great our... quality. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's fresh. The IPAs, I love it. We do mostly IPAs here. IPAs, you want to drink fresh. You want to get them, get them quick. Yeah. Cool. And then the can, the way that we can it here mm -hmm. is, um, that's why, you know, we want it to be, we want you to drink it fresh. So it's not, it's not the ideal way to can things. It's just take it home, drink it. Nice. And you Obviously have, when we can the beers, you have, it's a different process. You have a whole stash here. Yes. I want to check that out. We sell a lot of crawlers. Wow. Look at this baby right here. <laughs> This is a 20 barrel brew house. Uh huh. And that's a five barrel brew house. 20 and five barrel. Yep. Okay. So with this one, we kind of do test runs mm -hmm. and then we'll do smaller batches on that one, obviously. This one, we do the big ones and then they go into over here if you want to walk yeah, over. Yeah, let's do it. So they brew in there. Yeah. And then they come in and they go into these. These are 20 barrel ferment. These actually are the 40 barrel fermenters and those are 20 barrels. 20 so, barrels over there? Yeah. Candy chill. Liquid candy. Liquid candy? Yeah. Because <laughs> it is liquid candy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For adults. Yep. And then these five here, what you that sound that you're hearing? Yes. Is when they're pulling on the tap. These these are going straight to tap. They're going straight to tap? Yes. So so we have tap. It doesn't get any fresher than that. I'm sorry. I've never seen anything like this ever. So basically, so cool. we, basically to make beer, they in the brew house, mm -hmm. they basically make they they boil. Um, grains, yeah. malt, whatever, and it's it's loaded with sugar. So they basically boil the sugar out and they basically make sugar water. Okay. And then you, when you add the yeast into it, the yeast eats the sugars. Okay. And turns it into alcohol. Oh. So that's the process that's happening in here right now. The yeast are going to town and that's, you know. And you use cane sugar? No, just we extract the straight sugar straight out of like, like, um, like if you do like, you know, like you can put wheat in there. Yeah. That's like that half of the wine is like wheat beers. There's sugar, there's natural so sugars. It's natural sugar. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So basically the 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 yeast is alive. They're li living organisms. Bacteria, they're in there. yeah. And then when they're ready, when the alcohol gets to where they want it, yeah. they freeze it. Okay. And then all these die. And then when they die, they settle to the bottom of this cone. And then you remove the beer from here so that all the all the dead yeast sits on the bottom. And then after hard. they drain it out from here and you see all the the, the, the sludge basically. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sad we can't see that today. We can't yeah. witness it, but <laughs> yeah. at least you got a nice behind the scenes look at how you brew a beer and how you get it straight into the tap. There's a bunch, there's a huge array. Yeah. Yeah, so we have, uh, it looks like we have about 18 of our own beers on uh -huh. top right now. Like we saw over there, one through five is from the serving tanks. Right. The rest of these are in kegs in the cold box right behind this mm -hmm. wall. Mm -hmm. And then we also have, um, we always have like June Shine, Boochcraft, those are kombuchas, which are very popular. <laughs> I love kombucha, John. Yeah. You actually make these as so well? No, those ones are, those are from uh, other, all of our beers are here. And then the the Bushcraft, the wine, we also oh. serve wine. We have uh, four white wines on tap and red wines. Those are all from other people. You have white wines on tap. I've never seen wine on yeah. tap. That's fascinating. Yeah, we do it on tap. Keeps so this is just beer. This section is just this beer. all beer. Let's go over here to, the, this is white wine you said? And yeah, what else? Yeah, so these four right here, we have Chardonnay, Sauvignon, Blanc, Pinot, Rose, Rosé. And then we also do uh, red wines by the bottle. Red wines by the bottle. Yep. Awesome. I'm so happy you showed me the bar area. Yeah. And I know that there's so much more to explore because you have your very own ice cream factory right over there. Yes. I need to go now. Like, go I need check to check it out. it out now. Okay. I love ice cream. <laughs> and when it's handcrafted, even better. Let's go. Let's just go. All right. And we have a beautiful oven. Is this a... This is a Neapolitan style. This, this oven comes this comes from Italy. All the stones came from Italy. Wow. Uh, and it's a rotating it's a rotating stone. So you put it in. It's at 700 degrees right now. You put it in. They'll throw the pizza in. And it'll do one rotation. When it comes out on the other side, it's done. And That's that quick. Yeah, in less than two minutes. Here it goes in right now. 
Wow, and this is perfect for sports fans who want to yes. watch their teams play and they yes. don't want to wait for their food. You come here and you yep. get your pizza in 160 seconds, correct? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, Perfect. we do all the Lakers games, Dodgers. Lakers games, Dodgers, Rams. Rams. Yes. Nice. All that. All right, and then what is this area right here? Is this the kitchen? Over here, this is the full kitchen there. Yeah. And then um, there's Chef. That's Chef Ivan. Hi, Chef Ivan. <laughs> How are you? Here, this is the ice cream factory. Oh my you God, want, fantasy land. And then these are, this is our display cabinet with all the ice creams. Amazing. What's your go-to flavor? Cookie Monster, I'm assuming? Cookie Monster is the most popular. And then over here is our coffee shop. We have espresso. Seriously, you have a coffee <laughs> shop as well? Yes. What don't you have, John? <laughs> we do cold brew, we have a cold brew keg over there. Okay. And then we do espressos. We have pour over. Wait, 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 okay. We need to stop for a minute. You have your own espresso? <laughs> we, have our own, we have our own coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Tea Hill Espresso. <laughs> Yeah. I love your place. I, I genuinely do love your place. Thank you. This is insane. And then over here we have all our merch. There's even baby clothes. <laughs> it says quarantine. Quarantine plus beer equals me. <laughs> <laughs> that is so genius. I love it. <laughs> you got your hoodies as well. Hoodies, flannel, we do flannels. Was this your idea from back when you were a rock star? Yeah, I did. Merch is very important in being a band. Yeah. Like that's, you live on your merch, so. Well, look at that. You're wearing it right now. You yeah. got your hoodie, you All got your hat. T-shirt. Sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We also have dog merch. Really? Yeah, where's the dog? Right here. We have a, a dog bandana. This is adorable. And it says, hashtag dogs of Tarantula Hill on the side there. Yes, represent. <laughs> right. I love it. Yeah. This is the most complete <laughs> brewery I've ever encountered in my life. I feel like I'm in Disneyland uh -huh. for food, beer, and I'm so excited that people can finally access this incredible brewery after over a year of yeah. quarantine. Over, yeah. You guys were deeply affected, but you found a silver lining. You only, now you have your own beer that you distribute. For locals, by locals. For locals, by locals. <laughs> I love the name. Finally, where can we find you on social media? We're uh, on Instagram. We're Tranchel Hill Brewing Co. Tranchel Brewing Co. Yep. Yes. And uh, our website is tranchelbrewingco.com. We are the new kings. This is our time.